And back at home, a McLean County teacher thinks middle school STEM projects could shape the future, but he needs funding for materials. Well, I paid him a visit with a big check for this week's One Class at a Time. We're at Parkside Junior High School, and I'm here to surprise Mr. Josh Clockengay with a $1,000 grant for his classroom. Let's go. Josh Clockengay is a beloved 6th through 8th grade teacher at Parkside Junior High School. He teaches 6th and 7th grade STEM-focused classes in an 8th grade app creators class. Mr. Clockengay believes STEM education is extremely valuable for his students. I think a lot of industry, especially around the area, say Rivian and some of the companies that have been in and out of our area here, uh, CAT and Peoria, um, they're always looking for qualified students right out of high school. And I think just the exposure to that and students here at this level can at least get them thinking about, is this something that I might be interested in? You can learn everything from robotics, measurement, how to create a 3D birdhouse, and your own app, all in Mr. Clock and Gay's classroom. In the future, he wants to take courses to the next level by creating a Lego Masters Design Challenge activity, modeled after the show, Lego Masters. So my plan was to try to start a Lego Masters unit um, at the end of each semester with my sixth and seventh grade group. So the main umbrella idea is this design process of starting from an idea, solving a problem, and then presenting and showing your prototype or solution to that problem. Uh, so I, I love the show Lego Masters, um, and I think that having students having to build with Lego pieces is just another fun way that they can kind of design things in their own creativity. Mr. Clark and Gay is not only passionate about STEM, but his students too. It's really fun to watch the kids and the light bulbs go off when, when they do go off. Um, that's the part that's, that's really fun about teaching. It's a normal day of instruction for Mr. Clark and Gay, and he has no idea that he was nominated and selected for our One Class at a Time grant. Mr. Clark and Gay? You've won $1,000 for your classroom. Congratulations. Thank you. So on behalf of 25 News and SEFQ, we present you with the one class at a time grant, $1,000 for the spacious classroom that I'm in right now. How do you feel? Fantastic. So Mr. Dr. Pulliam surprised me here, and he, he said they were doing some stuff here for just getting news for, uh, for the school and the district. I'm so glad we were able to pull it off. You deserve it. Thank you, 25 News and SEFQ.